Hello, my name is Jana. I'm the coach of IT Genio Online Programming School, and today we're going to create an interesting application in App Inventor. Uh, we're going to learn some cool layout tricks, and we'll get acquainted with new blocks and components uh, such as map, location sensor, and clock. So let's get started. I have already created the project called it Location, and our application will consist of two parts uh, textual detailed information and the map. Let's start from the information and especially from the current time. Let's take table arrangement component and change its property rows to 1 and its property to 100%. Then we'll put two labels inside of the table and we'll change label 1's name to let's say time label and label 2's name to time value. As text for these components, for text uh, 1, label 1, let's say just time and here uh, let's type loading because at the first second uh, when application loads it may take a little while to load the current time and the rest of the information so we, we may first uh, type loading that's like the first thing user gonna see on his screen and then in like half of a second it's gonna change to a current time okay now for time label let's set height 30 pixels well, actually, we'll set the same uh, height for each of component. Let's do it right there for table 30 pixels and for time value 30 pixels as well. Okay, then for time label and for time value, uh, let's set width to 50%. For a time value, text alignment stays left, but for time label, I'll change it to right. And there will be no gap between time and uh, the actual time, <laughs> between label time and actual time. So I suggest you to add one more label inside of the table. So we'll need to, to change its columns property to three. And we'll just put a, oops, where did the time value go? No, let's delete it. Let's take loading out. <laughs> we'll put a label back in here. We'll delete its text at all. And we'll change its width to 10 pixels, for example, and its height to 30 pixels. And let's put loading back. So there will be a little gap between those two labels. It will just look uh, nicely. Um, okay, we may also change font bold property and we may also change the font size to 20, for example. Let's also change text color for this uh, label component. something like that and uh, for now we need to copy this uh, component table arrangement uh, and paste it two times for that uh, we may use a shortcut uh, on keyboard command C if you're using Mac or Control C if you're using Windows so I click command C because I have Mac and then I click co command V and command V one more time that's all. So now we just need to change uh, components' names and their texts. So we should change time to accuracy. The same here. And the same for text component. For text property of accuracy and column in the end. The same thing here. We should change time to coordinates. And here. 
this is it. Uh, it is useful to test the program while you're creating it. So we may test our project right there. Let me just click Connect AI Companion and I'll connect it to my App Inventor project application. Yeah, it looks perfect. Just right as I expected. Oh, we're almost done with the design. Uh, the last thing that we need to add is the map and also a few sensors. That's gonna be location sensor and time, the clock. For map, let's set its width to 100% and its height to, let's say, 50%. And let's check. Yeah, that's actually perfect. There are a lot of different uh, useful properties uh, for the map. For example, enable pen or enable rotation. Let's uh, check it. And I also want to show user. Uh, it always shows Cambridge like, by default, Boston, but yeah, here I am, so it shows my location. <laughs> and let's uh, work with blocks. Let's start from time. Uh, I'll take clock one when clock one timer, set time value. text to oh, this error just pops up because I didn't close this uh, component and as I'm connected to a uh, testing application it just keeps showing the error um, okay then we'll take this block form a time instant and Let's find current time here. Now, there it is. And it shows my local time, so it works perfectly already. So let's work with accuracy next. We'll take block in location sensor, which called when location sensor, location changed. And we'll set accuracy value text uh, to let's take join and for the first uh, bezel we're gonna put location sensor accuracy and here we're gonna say meters Okay, and uh, actually we may finish the code for map here because uh, we should show the coordinates uh, taken from location sensor as well. And uh, there is such two properties, latitude and longitude. They are both coordinates on the map. So we're gonna take both of them. And we're gonna set coordinates value text. Let's take join again. And usually coordinates are shown separated by comma. So I'll put comma and space here. And let it go goes here, longitude goes here. Okay, we may test it again, but we'll need to restart the application. So here is my local time, here is the accuracy, and here are my coordinates. And as you can see, we're still appears to be in Boston for some reason uh, by default. So let me change it by uh, setting map uh, pen to, let me just find this block. Okay, yeah, call map one, pen two, and we'll take latitude longitude and uh, zoom may be any number 
almost any number, like in range of 20, I think. And I just experimented before, so the oops, not this one, not this block. The way we should take mats, because mats uh, from mats is like a real number. <laughs> so I think the perfect would be 13. And we'll need to restart the application again. Actually, we don't have to uh, reconnect it. We may just go to designer and change some property. And that's what we get. So it defines me in Poland, in Warsaw, so everything is perfect. It shows my location, my current time, and all works. So that is all for this video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions left or you'd like to develop more cool games in App Adventure, you can always sign up for our trial lesson in ITG Neo School. Uh, you may find the link to it below the video. And don't forget to like the video if you found it interesting and useful. And to leave uh, the comments below the video with uh, ideas of our new videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye!